Hi, welcome to Dixie Storytime World. We all know the story of the Frog Prince and the story of Sleeping Beauty. But have you heard the story of the Frog Prince saves Sleeping Beauty? Once upon a time, a princess was born in a far away land. The king and queen were so happy. Let's have a party, said the king. Yes, said the queen. We will invite three fairy godmothers. The day of the party arrived. The fairy godmothers brought their magic wands. Shazam! A sparkly tricycle appeared. Shazam! There was a shiny ball. But just as the third fairy godmother waved her wand, the doors flew open. What's happening? cried the king. A wicked fairy flew into the room. You didn't invite me, she cackled. Everyone shivered with fear. My present for the princess is a curse, said the wicked fairy. If the princess pricks her finger before she is ten years old, she will die. Shazam! Everyone gasped. The wicked fairy vanished. Help us, please. The king and queen begged the fairy godmothers. I can't stop the curse, said the third fairy godmother, but I can change it. If the princess pricks her finger, she will not die. She will just sleep until she is kissed by a prince. After that, the king and queen kept the princess away from pins and needles. Play outside, they told her. There are no pins in the garden. The princess loved studying the flowers and birds. She loved watching the bees and butterflies. One day, just before she turned ten years old, the princess found a frog. He looked so sweet. The princess took the frog back to the palace and put him in a tank. The frog thought she was very kind. The princess drew a picture of the frog, but just... As she was pinning it on the wall. Can you guess what's going to happen, kids? The princess pricked her finger and fell asleep. The fairy godmother saw everyone in the palace was upset. They put them all to sleep too. If only a prince would come and kiss her, they sighed. With everyone in the palace asleep, the frog was the only one left awake. The frog saw that this was his chance. It was time for him to be a hero. The frog hopped out of the tank and over to the princess's bed. Then he gave her a big wet kiss. When the princess woke up, the frog turned into a prince. The wicked fairy turned me into a frog, he said. The spell could only be broken if I kissed the princess. Thanks for saving me, said the princess. The fairy godmother shouted for joy and woke up everyone in the palace. The princess and the prince became best friends and together they looked after the animals in the palace garden. The end. I hope to enjoy this story and I'll see you soon in another adventure. Bye for now.